Today I am having a little wine and cheese party just in time because I got this beautiful new bamboo cheese board. So I want to show you all the features and tell you all about it. Plus, I want to show you how I made this cool little wine carrier for my wine and glasses to go along with the party. So let the party begin. My guests are coming and we're going to have a lot of fun. From Vistosupply.com, I just got the best little compact charcuterie and cheese board set ever. It's made of a very solid, thick and sturdy bamboo wood, a beautiful sleek compact design that includes this cool hidden drawer for storing all the utensils you need for cutting, carving, spreading, serving, and these beautiful stainless steel utensils are also included in the set. Now I'm having a little get together with a few friends in the neighborhood to welcome in a new neighbor. So my party's not gonna be really big, but I wanna have a nice display of cheese and meats to graze on for my guests. So I think I'm gonna start with a fun, yummy Parmesan cheese ball. Then I'll add a firm piece of buttery gouda, a delicious creamy brie, and I'm also going to add one of my favorite snack and cheese, Kobe Jack. Now these are all pretty mild cheeses, so instead of the Kobe Jack, you might want to add a sharp cheddar or some fine aged cheeses for a better variety. But this is what I like. Next I'll add a bowl of olives and a couple of little jars of fruit jams I got from my trip to the Caribbean. And this little moat area around the board is the perfect place for my meats. I'm adding salami and pepperonis, and there's still plenty of room for water crackers and pita chips. Now I can use my handy utensils to start carving up some of the cheese. This little spatula is great for cutting wedges of hard cheese. This little knife is great for cubing and shaving. And this one is great for cutting and spreading. Now I have some cheese pieces ready to go and I still have a little room for decorating. I'm gonna add a little garnish of sage and thyme. Now since I'm leaving all my utensils out and the cheeses so that my guests could use them, I can close my drawer and I have more space for more goodies. This may be a small compact board, but it can hold a lot. And with the efficient levels, you can create a beautiful display. But this board is not just great for cheeses. You can make a very impressive fruit display. You can use it to show off your chocolates or desserts. And with Vistel's buy one get one 10% off sale, you could have an endless amount of tasting stations at your party. But today I am having a wine and cheese party, so I also want to show you how I created this nice little wine and glass carrier for my event. To make my wine and glass rack, I'm using this little pine crate I picked up from Walmart. This is 12 by 5 by 5 inches. From Dollar Tree, I picked up five bamboo back scratchers, two packages of nautical rope, and a couple of bags of stones. From Michael's Crab Store, I picked up a set of two pine craft pieces. These were 12 inches by one inch. To put everything together, I'm using Gorilla Clear Grip glue and the hot glue gun. Okay, first we're gonna start with our large pine craft sticks and we're gonna mark where we want to place our back scratchers. So we're gonna divide this in half, make a mark at six, and then we're gonna make a mark two inches out from the center at eight and 10 and at four and two. Next, I'm gonna put some Gorilla Clear Grip in the center of that mark and some hot glue on the outside of the mark, right on that line and use that to glue my 
back scratchers on. I'm going to glue them on straight and leave about two inches above the bar. But what's most important is that the bottoms line up, so make sure they line up first before you glue them down. The back scratchers are not all the same length, so it might be a little off. But you're going to glue all five back scratchers down and then you're going to glue the other palette on top. After that piece dries, I'm going to take my pine crate and take my piece with the back scratchers and I'm going to slip the bottom portion of this into the bottom slot of the crate. Then I'm just going to slide it in until the feet are level with the surface and the back of the scratchers lie against the back of the crate. And I'm going to add a little hot glue where the two pieces touch. Now since this is a very light crate, I'm going to add rocks in the bottom of the crate to give it some weight to hold the bottles and the glasses. And I'm going to test this with my largest glasses to see if I need to add more rocks to weigh it down. And this is still tilting with the glasses, so I'm going to add some more stones. I already had some glass stones, so I'm going to insert some more of these and fill it all, almost all the way up to the top. And I want to make sure those stones are underneath the palette. And I'm going to test this with a few bottles of wine and I think that'll work. Now this stand will match my bamboo board really well but the last thing I'm gonna do is decorate this with a little nautical rope. I'm gonna hot glue pieces around the opening slits of the pine box and I'm making a little knot right at the top in the center. I'm also wrapping rope around the top bar and little pieces of string to cover up the holes at the top of the scratchers. To make a little buffer in between my bottles, I'm gonna use the last pieces of rope and I'm gonna fold it into three. So that is about five inches. I'm gonna hot glue two of the thirds together. And the last third, I'm gonna hot glue right down the center of those two. I'm making two pieces like this and I'm going to hot glue these to the second and the fourth bamboo palette. And this will just help keep the bottles separated a little and in place. Now I didn't like seeing the different types of stones I had underneath here so I decided to cover them up with some raffia I had. And I'm just going to make sure that they're all tucked underneath the palettes and that the palettes are showing yeah, but you could use some peat moss if you like or the rocks would be fine as long as they were all the same rocks but i think it's now ready for my party this can hold three small bottles of wine or a large bottle and two small bottles of wine and up to four small wine glasses the little hands at the bottom could hold your corkscrew your corks or whatever else you need handy and now I think I'm all set for my little wine and cheese party so I invited a few ladies over from my neighborhood for a lovely get-together and some delicious grazing food and we were able to welcome in our new neighbor and make her feel warm and at home with great company wine and food for the soul be sure and click on the information tab below to see how you can get your Vistal sustainable bamboo cheese and charcuterie board you can follow me on Facebook, Pinterest, and Instagram for daily home food and gardening tips.